Welcome in folks for another video on Ron Mavic Brown's uh, YouTube channel here. Uh, today we have another a video on uh, one of my favorite drones of the, you know, the past few months, the DJI Mavic 3 drone. And uh, we've, we've got uh, almost, I'm a little late here getting this published, about like maybe three weeks ago, kind of towards the end of January, we got a, a big firmware update that uh, added a lot of features. And we, we've talked about that. And uh, we got an app update around the same time. But then we got another app update just a few days later, the 1.5.9 uh, version of the iOS app, uh, and I believe Android's <coughs> at the same number also. So I, I went out to do, you know, I did, initially did some testing with 1.5.8 and uh, the, the big firmware update number, which I cannot remember. Uh, but then, uh, you know, uh, maybe a week later, I went out and tested the um, the, the the app, the 1.59 update, to see if there's any differences from the 1.8. And, and I haven't seen anything yet. But, you know, I, I, I kind of did a, uh, you know, a, a kind of a full flight. I did a screen recording. And, uh, you know, I, I'm going to kind of break this down. I was going to put out as one big video, but the first part of it kind of works as a good camera tutorial for the Mavic 3, where I kind of go through a lot of the uh, the functions and I show the uh, that new camera display pop-up where you get like uh, the box that comes up across the bottom of your screen and it has the two separate panels where you can change all your pertinent camera functions, just that one little box without digging back and forth through some of the other menus. And I, I know a lot of people do not like the fact that the uh, Mavic 3 jumped to the, uh, the you know, the, uh, the DJI Fly app uh, as opposed to the Go 4 app, which the DJI uh, Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom ran under. But, um, you know, and I don't disagree with them, except now that they've added this camera box at the bottom, uh, you know, the, all the camera functions, pop-up thing. This thing is, is worth the price of admission, as they say. Uh, it makes the Fly app uh, a much better app now. And uh, it, it also, for me, the user interface is all in the eye of the beholder. What's good for one person is not good for the other. It's just all personal opinion. But that little box that pops up for me is more useful than um, than digging through the Go4 uh, settings to find all these uh, functions you want to change on the fly. So um, anyhow, with uh, no further ado, we're going to roll into um, you know, the screen recording again. Uh, I'm flying at the uh, the beach in Ocean City, New Jersey, and I'm flying. It's kind of like a kind of a almost like a landmark now, where they have a Christmas tree there, of course, for the holiday seasons. But now they've converted over. The, I guess took like a Valentine's thing. They have like a big heart with I love and and Jay in the middle, and they have all the. Um, shells that people write on with like sharpies and stuff leave messages i guess they're the same carryover messages from from the holiday season like maybe a lot of people just put a, a maybe a loved one down maybe a loved one lost or whatever everybody could do does their own thing they've kind of even built like kind of a like a little mound mountain uh, sand bump whatever you want to call it you know with all the shells lined up on them uh and back so I, i've got a couple shots with the you know with the drone of course of this as i'm going through all my uh various uh, uh camera functions is more you know i did more camera work and another a later video will come where i i go through a lot of the video settings too during this flight but um, anyhow so with no further ado uh, we're going to roll the um the portion of the video which i just described and i hope you get something out of it as far as you know um uh, learning camera settings on the mavic 3 just learning where everything is on this new uh um, you know panel that popped up for for photo and video so uh, if you got anything out of this video you know leave the old thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed i'm getting close to 3,000, so please double check to make sure if you thought you were subscribed to me maybe you got unsubscribed so you can resubscribe and help me make that goal of uh 3,000 uh, subscribers and of course hit the ring notification bell if you want to hit want to see more um, you know videos on the Mavic 3 and other DJI drones even you know the some of the all tell drones and of course you know we'll be you know when the uh, uh, DJI Mini 3 comes out we will you know be one of the first ones to have in this channel we're going to have plenty of content on that too so again don't forget don't forget to subscribe and as they say uh, let's roll that video Hello, it's Ron back here. We're at uh, we're beautiful Ocean City, New Jersey today down here at North Beach. And we're doing a test of the um, Mavic 3 uh, the Mavic 3 drone with the new uh, app 
app update that we just got for iOS uh, overnight. Uh, one dot five dot nine. I, uh, you know, people reached out to me and told me the Android version was out before the iOS version, but we just got it last night. So we're down here. We're we're testing. We're doing a screen recording on the um, iPhone 13 Pro, and uh, we're doing some little. We're gonna test a little 5K 30 frame per second video out today. So. Uh, uh, we, we're in a Class G airspace here, and there's no uh, temporary temporary flight restrictions of any type here. So uh, we're good to go in the flight here. Some couple people walking around the beach, but we will avoid them and not fly over. So we'll get out over the water here. That's always a good way to get away from people here. Nobody, nobody swimming today. So, and we're gonna look for. Um, uh, kind of a thing here was uh, seashells. There was a Christmas tree around here, and I think they built like a little um, monument with the seashells. So we're going to see if we can find it here uh, while making sure we don't fly over anybody. So I think it's it. I think this is it over here, actually. There we go. And we probably need to uh, fly on the other side of it. So let's uh, let's hit the two X button here. There we go. So you can see that says Ocean City, New Jersey backwards, and you see the 2000. So we will kind of maybe do a um, orbit around here. So let's, we could do a manual orbit here, but let's see if we can uh, do the um, automated orbit here. Now, how high am I up here? If you look at my telemetry here, um, I'm 120 feet up, so it's probably a little bit higher than I need to be. Probably like 100 is good. So let's, uh, let's get this in the center of the frame. Let's draw our uh, box here. Okay. Oops. Focus track. It didn't work. Okay. Focus track not supporting current. Oh, it doesn't support it in 5K. So let's stop the 5K here. And we're going to go here. And you see this new menu pops up now, which I love. So we're going to go down to um, see if it works in cinema 4K. And... Uh, well, let's just, let's just go to play in all 4K just to make sure. So, um, okay. Well, that looks good here. So, let's try it again here. Let's draw our box around the thing here. The, um, we're going to call it the, um, I don't know what we're going to call it here. But, uh, you know, um, we want to do a, um, well, you know what? I should just do the circle thing. But, you know, I'm going to do a point of interest here. So, that could be the point of interest, right? And uh, we're going to tap go. And uh, let's see here. It's going to go this direction here. And there's nothing to hit around here. So 100 feet is good. So let's see what happens here when I hit the record here. Um, I guess I have to fly it myself. So. I have a 2x zoom there. There you see it. It kind of lost it there already. Um, let's draw it over again. We don't even need it, actually. Okay, that was a, a bad little display there, but we don't even need that. So um, let's uh, fly over it here. And we'll come back and do that kind of a re reveal shot of it. And uh, let's see if we can go one more time in with three. Oops, we can only go double zoom here. So what's there's nobody down there now. Let's kind of go down. And let's uh, do a uh, semicircle here. You know, I'm going to put it in a cinema mode because so I can go a little bit slower. Yeah, the cinema, the cinema mode works really nice there. Very, It's all seashells down there, in case you're wondering. It's all made of seashells. It used to be a Christmas tree here uh, a month ago. So... Okay, that's got we got some pretty nice video here, so let's actually go back and take a picture. Okay.
है Probably more exciting for the gold now or something, but uh, oh well. Okay, let's let's switch our. Okay, we're gonna switch over the photo on the uh, right hand side, uh, top uh, button there. We're gonna switch it from video to photo. All right. Now we don't. Of course, we don't have the same uh, zoom capability. We have to go into um, the uh, the eyeglass thing or the binocular. Sorry. So we're gonna actually just go down. So there's nobody down there now. Kind of get some of the ocean in there too. So pull back just a little bit. Okay, what do you think of that framing there? I kind of like that because I got the ocean. Let me go just a little bit over here. Maybe get that alfalfa pipe out of there. I don't know. Let's just let's go. All right. Kind of got that alfalfa pipe out there now. Okay, let's uh, let's do some bracketed photos here. So uh, we'll go three brackets so we get the right exposure. Let's go shoot one over, one under, one proper exposure. And let me see if I could do anything with the pro settings to make it any better. I was in a pro setting, sorry. Um, okay, I won, I won the JPEG in a raw. The white balance, I like the white balance there. Maybe I could pump it up just a little bit more. Too much. Yeah, maybe that's just a little bit better there with the white balance. Uh, let me go over here and... Um, uh, let's see, everything kind of looks good there. Uh, that shutter is awful high, but um, it's probably because it's just sunny. I don't want to put an ND filter in it because I don't like people to say, uh, you know, uh, you know, what ND filter did you have on there? Let's change it to um, about 3.5 there uh, on the aperture. And uh, maybe we can get that shutter down a little bit. Okay, let's go back here and uh, see if we can get that shutter down just a little bit here. Let's get it down. All right, um, let's go up to 4.0 there, 4.5, get the shutter down, uh, let's see here, let's go with 320, okay, I kind of like that, that gives a lot of color, and uh, so let's hit our bracket exposures again, so let me just adjust one more angle here. I don't like that angle that much because I get some of the other stuff in there, but let's try that. Just a little bit different framing. Sorry, it's kind of boring probably to most people. Let's tap the focus too. Let's, uh, we could make that lighter or darker by moving our finger around here, so we're going to... I think that's good. All right, so um, let's get out of that mode here. Let's get up again. We're, we're kind of low. 